I was building the property, this whole area behind the fence was a tent city. So the bricklayers and the electrical people and the carpenters, they basically lived here for three years while they built this place. And these all views, all viewed the, um, the reservoir down here. Another added feature that we have in the summer are these architectural garden um, pieces. And if you come in the spring, this whole field is daffodils. This whole field right here, the wonderful wisteria. We're just, we still have a little bit of wisteria blooming here. Yeah, surprising. This is way past the season for wisteria. We have lantana growing here. A lot of wisteria growing on the building, on the house. And again, water views from each of these windows originally. I'll build you a sleeping porch in this area. You can have kids over, it'll be a great thing. So she built it into a sleeping porch. And uh, she had a, they had a sleepover, and uh, but they were rudely awakened in the morning by the kitchen crew getting ready for the day. So it's right over the kitchen. It was way too noisy. So they decided to exit that idea. And instead, she kept birds up there. And both families had birds. And Mrs. Roth had a Balls birds. and the glass tall glass things that's not normal but i uh, normally when they do the architectural garden stuff i hate it because it's really modern and everything really pretty, this though. looks so whimsical doesn't it yeah. with the glass well it's cool and all those yeah you're doing a garden and you're doing got it i'm doing a house in 50 webster street in san francisco oh, so, so but it's perfect don't you think look at the card flowers and it used to be all worn and weathered like this they just refinished it so it looks gorgeous so we're done Excellent. with the house. Thank you. Come back to the garden in an hour and five minutes or so. And uh, it was a pleasure meeting. And please come back. It's, it's really, there's always something to see. The house stays the same. But the, well, not always, because we have a beautiful clothes. The, the garden is always awesome. <laughs> So are you heading back to the seat? We're just going back in. Okay. All right, here we go. I'll take it. I'm going to the I never really this place here. Ageratum is the purple plant that's growing, and uh, we also have sculptures that are throughout the garden, and this is a summer display, and uh, so they have, so the glass that you see, and the bubbles and everything, I'll kind of point them out as we go along. Some of them are quite expensive, but uh, I think they've done a special good job with the blue and vibrant, beautiful blooming plants so that every stairway you go up is just gorgeous. <laughs> so here we go. These are petunias. We are also a protected environment for the California red-legged frog. They breed right here. And so uh, if you hear a ribbit or two, that's because uh, they're alive and well. These are pannas. Isn't this whimsical, the way they've done the bubble glass? There, when they got about this tall and this wide, they brought them here. So we have over 200. Two olive trees there. Put two down here. 
cause your eye to go all the way up to the top of the mountain. 650 acres, but we're only walking through 16 acres of gardens today. So follow me. And he said, well, he said, you can do them in plastic and they are easier to lift. But if you um, tea in plastic, the roots kind of cook in the plastic. When they're in terracotta, even though you have to water them more often because the terracotta pulls the moisture out, he said, they really think they're in the ground when they're in a terracotta pot. Okay, secret number one. Number two, every two to three years, you want to get a big strong person on the other side and the third one to hold down the pot. And you lift that thing up out of the pot and you take a very sharp knife and you cut around it two inches off the bottom and off the side. Then you put soil in the bottom and put it back in, you put more soil and a little fertilizer and it'll be good to go for another couple of three years. That's the secret of having a beautiful citrus or any, any tree. Um, in the garden house, which we will see later, they actually have eight foot camellias in a pot about that size. Camellias in the garden, in the spring. They don't have any right now. But just amazing. So that is worth the price of admission. It's almost like a living room, mm -hmm. living room. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then as you can see in the fall, they start to turn white. So all these will turn white and fall to the ground. See these marks on here? We have two of these trees. Very rare to have these trees here. They, they're like the best specimens in North America. A, a disgruntled gardener made those cuts when he was fired for chopping down trees in the stone fruit orchard. Uh, this is the tennis courts, which Mr. Bourne never got a chance to play on because he had a stroke in 1921 and 22. But these were the tennis dressing rooms. And then, of course, when they put the pool in, they put the pool innards in that building as well. When you look out here, these are gardeners, and we have uh, any number of interns that, from all over the world that come to intern at Philoli every year. And then we have over 100 volunteers who work alongside the professional gardeners uh, to keep the place up. Picking up dead flowers, disbudding, doing the planting, doing, doing they, they grow almost all of the plants from seed. But this is a really great place to look at the house and all the chimneys. We have 17 bathrooms and 17 fireplaces. And it, uh, there's actually a fault line for the San Andreas Fault that goes parallel to the house, 400 feet away from the house, which is in the Rift Valley. But um, Mr. Bourne was not worried about uh, building so close to a fault line because he lived in the San Francisco Wall of purple. I mean, it's just kind of and you're probably not going to be able to. 
see very well, but I want to call your attention to these inlaid squares. They're actually phoenix birds. And uh, phoenix birds are a legendary bird that got their life when they sprouted up out of the ashes, fire and ashes. And so uh, phoenix birds are actually, even though they're legendary, are actually on the California State, San Francisco State Seal. Tulips in here with forget-me-nots underplanted. The second year I was here, they had hot pink tulips in here underplanted with forget-me-nots. <laughs> this last year, they had what I would just call a Mardi Gras sort of Orange, yellow, red, blue, pink, um, white, just a whole, just a different, all different color combinations of tulips. And I do think that, that was the best choice for indoors. It's very variety. Last summer, I had the pleasure of listening to Kurt uh, Lurleen, the surviving oldest twin daughter. She's turning 96 this year. Uh, spoke up on the tennis court. She's proud of about a thousand people. Uh, she spoke for two hours without a note. for sale, her mother went to sleep one night and she woke <coughs> up in the middle of the night out of a sound sleep and said, oh my gosh, I forgot to ask them to keep the gardens open at least one day a week. Is that she wanted people, to, the public, to be able to come in and see the garden. Yeah. So um, she called her son, Billy, and said, I need you to go talk to that family and make sure they'll keep the gardens open. Well, when Billy talked to them, they said, are you crazy? This is going to be our property. We're not going to let people just kind of walk through this place. And she said, well, I guess I can't sell it to you then. So that was the second bullet we dodged. And because of that, we are able, all of us, to enjoy for a little bit today. And people come from all over the world to see this incredible garden. Go ahead. Why do you sell tulips? Why do you form sun exposure? They all bloom at the same time. Now, they don't all bloom very long. Okay. But it is spectacular. The white too. Absolutely spectacular. And then of course they um, they take it all out and they plant it for the summer. And I do love this. This is a, a in the geranium family. Not geranium. Petunia family. These are called pechoas. I'm <laughs> 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 Remember I told you that she borrowed some Irish shoes from the high place? Mm -hmm. They were planted here and here. Because she took those and she put them down by the swimming pool area. Now if you come in March, this whole area is daffodils. I mean it's spectacular. And all the trees are starting to blossom out. So this is the stone fruit orchard. Remember I told the guy who cut who cut the lemon uh, the camper down elm trees? Mm -hmm. Well, this is where he decided that he was going to cut some stone fruit trees down. So he got fired for that. But anyway, these are all stone fruit. So peaches, nectarines, apricots, and they're blooming bright pink with the daffodil underplanted. It's really incredible. Now, so and all the kids kept up their tradition. So um, that's why they made this very kind of a place where they honor the grandchildren who have stayed very, very involved. In yeah. Oh wow. Secret. Okay. I do believe it's the world. Look at it. It's absolutely beautiful. And so take your time to smell the
Way back in the early 1900s. And um, when the house was, when the property was given to the National Trust, look at these apples. Um, <laughs> she, um, the, the Hillsborough Garden Club donated this perennial Monet style garden. So if you come in the wintertime, it's practically bare dirt. You know anything about perennial gardens? You cut them down the bottom, you can, you can cut them, you can transplant them. So we have salvia, and we have cat mint, and we have smoke bugs, and we've got it with roses and apple trees. It's probably quite gorgeous. Um, so this is Russian fake back here. It usually gets like this tall, but when we start watering, it starts to flop down. This area right here is starting to be morning glory. In the spring, they plant um, sweet peas, so it really smells beautiful. Anything here. Oh, yeah. 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 Y